Hello and welcome to the next session. Today we are going to discuss about dealing with the experiments and how to have a term called as risk aversion, how to avoid the risk or how to get the project risk uh, diverted to and how to solve the issue of the risk. So coming back, it is important to keep track of everything in an experiment. So whenever we are doing a data science as a project, we have to worry about the experiment as the following. What is my input data? What is the date and time of my experiment? Then exact code version that produces the experimental results. So code version will tell me uh, reproducibility because the same code has to be have a reproducible feature. So very important is code version and the reproducibility of the experimental results. What are the output file and model parameter and model type and the matrix. So these are some of the what we call as a important things we have to keep track of. So you can use a simple shared document for this purpose or invest, uh, invest in integrating a specialized experiment tracking system with a user interface into our project. An experiment tracking framework pay for themselves projects that have a lot of experimentation. So in our data science project, we go on doing the experiment again and again. So we need to have all these parameters to be taken care of. So finally care about making each experiment reproducible and document in the conclusion. So the basic idea is your experiment should be reproducible. It should give the same output or result every time a experiment is being run. <coughs> the, uh, to check reproducibility use the following criteria. Number one, input data is easily accessible and can be discovered by anybody or everyone who is using in the team. Experiment code can be run on input data without error. Next point is you do not need to enter undocumented configuration parameter to run the experiment. All the configuration of variables are fixed in the experimental configuration itself. Experiment code contains documentation and easily readable. This is very very important because as I said last time also documentation is a must so that we keep a track of the uh, code. We, uh, keep a track of the changes we made in the code. Experiment output is consistent and the experiment output contain matrix that can use for comparison with the other experiment and conclusion from experiment results are presented and documented, commented and the output are being written to a file. So these are all the sum of the criteria we use for the experiment. Okay? And how to avoid the pitfall, so how to avoid the risk. So to avoid the pitfall in our project, research project especially, make sure that you do the following. Define a very clear cut goal. That is the first and foremost important point in our data science is your goal should be very crisp, well defined and it should have a clearly defined boundary. Define the success criteria and define constraint including the time and budget limitation. When it comes to a corporate world, time and budget are very, very important. Then fill in the experiment backlog, prioritize expectation and track all the experiment and data and make the code reproducible and document your findings. So if you see around 6 to 7 points are there which clearly indicate that our goals are well defined, my criteria are well defined, I am within the budget and I am doing the experiment on a reproducible basis. So we say successful research project can help you find out the answer to a complex problem or push the boundary of a scientific research to a practical discipline. So what we do is dealing with the prototype and MVP product. Okay? So we have minimum viable product as a product. So if you are dealing with the data science, I bet we find ourselves doing a lot of prototyping. Prototype often have a very strict time and money limitation. Okay. The first lesson of the prototype is the approach every prototype uses as a MVP, minimum viable product. The key idea behind MVP is to just have a enough core features to show a working solution. So that is why prototypes are being made to show the working solution. Bells and whistles can be implemented later. So this, this thing or uh, add-on can be done later as long as we are able to demonstrate the main idea behind our prototype. So focus on the core features. 
Okay. So, ask yourself following question to check whether a particular feature should be included in the MVP product or not. Number one, who are the users? Next, what business processes are the solution is going to target about <coughs> and what problem do you are able to solve? Then look at the feature and then we will be able to address the issue of who are user, who, who are the people who are using the business processes and what problem you are going to solve about. So, ask yourself following question. Uh, Okay. <clears throat> so, let us see a case study and this case study is uh, again taken from the book. Okay. So, our friend Mark works as a consulting company, his team create a defect uh, detection system prototype for a large manufacturing company. So, Mark wants to find out the prototype who have a de defects in the uh, defect in themselves. The system should analyze the video stream of the product on a conveyor belt and detect products that are defective. Mark has answered this initial uh, MVP question list. Who are the users? The users are manufacturing plant product quality department. What business processes do your solution targeting? We are targeting the core product quality control system. The next question is what problem do you want to solve? So, we are trying to solve or decrease the total amount of defected products that are left un, uh, undetected on the current quality on the current process uh, control process. So, using these three questions and answers, Mark has created the core feature for the MVP. Model is defect detection model, integration by monitoring cameras over the conveyor belt and then Mark knows that the manufacturing plant director Anthony who is also a decision maker appreciates system with a slick and intuitiveness. Also Mark is sure that preparing a model quality report is essential for comparing the efficiency as is and to be quality product. So, we use the two term as is. So, whatever the product is available as it is and to be. So, it has to be a defective, defect free product. So, these two insights added some more deliverable to our MVP, a UI for monitoring the defect in real time. So, I have a user interface and model quality report that provide an efficiency comparison between the old process and the improved process along with the automated quality control. So, you can see that the small case tells me that whatever I want to implement as a product defect uh, uh, detection system or a defect detection system, I will be able to have a MVP model which is very well, very well for a deliverable. So, let us see on the next uh, small topic, mitigating risk in production oriented data science system. So, mitigating, reducing the risk. Please remember, data science projects are different than my conventional software project because here data set keep on changing. The risk involved is also very high as compared to my traditional software development. So, end to end data science project encompass one or more uh, several full iterations of the DS project life cycle. End to end DS project comprise all the risk of research project and MVP along with a new set of research that are related to the change management and the product deployment. Okay. So, this is another uh, area where we have to be very careful. The first major risk is the inability to sustain a constant chain in the stream. Data science project involve scope changes, they go and should work in the uh, with the time they are making two project fall apart. Scrum gives you basic tool to need the change management by freezing the development scope over the course for a week or so. However, for any tool to work, customers should understand and follow the required processes along with your team. So, this is the risk of uh, employment. Another issue is that implementation of a given chain may cause a lot of unexpected bugs. So, whenever we are uh, delivering a product, unexpected bugs are going to be incorporated. DS project often lack automated testing process, uh, procedure or investment. The absence of constantly testing existing functionality may cause ripple effect when one simple change causes several number of bugs. So, this is a very, very detrimental in the case of a data science. So, even if you change one code, it may cause a, a lot of changes in other code bugs too. So, without test, a lot more bugs also go unnoticed and get passed into the production system. So, this is a risk aversion, how to avoid the risk. So, we have to be very careful on this. It is also important to implement online testing modules since quality assurance does not end in the development phase itself. 
Models can degrade in performance over time and our system should monitor abrupt changes in the business and technical matrix. So, this is the underlying principle for our this thing. Okay. So, uh, I am showing you a small table where the table have uh, listed about the type of the risk group. Second column tells me about the risk involved and the third column gives me a solution we are seeking for. Now, let us see the first one risk group is common. So, you can see three common risk uh, a common kind of risk are there where vague goal definition project goal is not quantifiable and decision making without a keeping a track of the record. So, you can see under a common risk pool we have some vague goal, uh, vague, uh, goal definition given. So, what is the solution? Make sure that the goal definition is complete and include all the items from the checklist Second point, project goal is not quantifiable. So, I cannot measure the quanti, quanti, uh, quantify, I can uh, output the quantify of my product. So, define quantifiable business metric that can be understood by the customer. Define one or several technical metrics that correlate with uh, your business matrix. So, please remember business metrics are different and our data science metrics has to correlate with them. Third, most important point decision making without keeping the track of the record. So, document every major decision and conclusion you make throughout the project, very, very important and fix the data and code versions in order to reproduce the result that lead to your decision. So, your fixed data, your code revision has to be documented well, so that you have less and less problem on the risk. So, these three are under the group of a common risk area. Next, let us see now the next research the team cannot reproduce the experimental research. The answer is solution is track the experiment result and, uh, and data along with the code. Under research also we have same thing, research has no scope and plan for action. So, what is the solution? Plan ahead using the research backlog, prioritize entries in the research backlog and periodically check whether there are any obsolete entries and should be removed or not. Okay, and assess the expectation. So, this is coming under the research category. Third category is MVP, prototype does not show how to solve a user problem. So, what is the solution? Solution is think about every prototype as a MVP that solve your customer problem and define your scope by taking minimum amount of functionality required to solve a customer problem. The next point under MVP is MVP include too many unnecessary feature that uh, that makes the time to develop. So, use feature analysis to define the MVP scope. Next point is MVP take a lot of time to develop. If your team makes a lot of MVPs, think about creating a rapid prototype framework and project template to speed up the development process. Then it comes to the project development and then finally to deployment. Under project development, we have four. The customer is constantly pushing the team to make the urgent scope changes. This is the biggest problem in the project management. Okay. So, advocate for use of agile development methodology for your project. Track project scope changes to show how they affect the deadline. Under the same, the customer does not have a see the system to solve the problem. So, what is the solution? Solution is constantly review your project goals and make sure that your way of solving the problem has been confirmed by the customer. And the, again, new changes are introduced a lot of bugs. So, whenever you are doing a project development, new changes will always incorporate a new set of bugs. So, you have to have a right automated test cases so in order to uh, address the bug issues. Then we go for the deployment. The model quality is degraded in production and system has no tools to solve the problem. So, develop a online testing matter module to keep the change of the matrix in the production system and validate all the incoming data along with periodically retrain your model. Then in the deployment, system is not suitable for a production usage. Okay. So, the idea or solution is fix functional and non-functional requirement of our software engineering for our system. Prepare an architectural vision that provide a reproduction ready system to design. So, with this, uh, um, how I, I address the issue of risk and then category of the risk like our common 
MVP, project development, project deployment. So with this understanding, I am sure that we are in a, in a position to avoid the risk and make the system more and more uh, commercially viable and a steady state. Thank you.